Two of the teams that fell by the wayside and just barely will be in the Rose Bowl game presented by City. Penn State, 11 and 1, their first Rose Bowl appearance since that 1994 team that went undefeated and uncrowned. Taking on USC, the Trojans again finding a midseason stumble that keeps them out of the BCS championship game. So USC beat up on Ohio State in the regular season, and there was some uh, hesitancy to look for a Big Ten team against the Trojans. Lou, do you expect this to be a different kind of matchup and Penn State maybe with the weaponry to hang with USC? I think Penn State can hang with anybody in the country, and particularly you give Joe Paterno time to recover from that hip surgery, but they always play great defense. Penn State has great defense. They have a game plan on how to win, and they have an awful lot of talent. I think you have to look at Royster as an excellent running back. You look at Clark, the tailback. You look at the wide receivers, whether you're talking about Williams or Butler. I, they're, they're very, very talented, and they'll be ready to play. You think Paterno's hip, he's going to get out there and make a tackle? No, but I think maybe he'll be on the sideline. And you know what Joe Paterno has done for the game of football? You just you can't possibly minimize. Here's a school that's won, what, 800 games, and he has been part of it, 60% as a head coach. That's unbelievable. But he is really and truly a great football coach. He knows how to get them ready for a game. They will acquit themselves very well. I'm not saying they'll win, but they'll play well. I don't think it'll be close. I think U.S. defense has been dominant right. since that loss to Oregon State. Nobody's really scored on this team. They've been putting teams away left and right. No one's really put up any points on them. And you look at the game yesterday, UCLA did get a touchdown early. So what happened to the defense? They got ticked off and they didn't let them score for the rest of the game. That's what's going to happen when Penn State rolls into town because it's a virtual home game for USC. Their offense is coming along. Sanchez is fine, 30 touchdown, 10 picks. I'm not worried about that. The defense is what really leads this USC football team. I think there are a lot of subplots coming into this game. I mean, you have USC actually being being out in the public being quoted saying man we just we don't want to go to another rose bowl we, we maybe we can get to the fiesta bowl maybe we can get to the sugar bowl and play a real team we don't want to play another big 10 team that'll challenge the mindset of usc steve sarkeesian accepts the washington job will stay on the coach in this game but he's trying to put a staff together he's trying to recruit he's trying to coach for a, a gimme rose bowl where they're all, they win every year how will that affect the mindset of the offense as they get ready to go then you got poor old penn state they're guilty by association. Every Big Ten team that shows up loses by 40 points in the Rose Bowl against USC. I think psychologically, Coach, yep. all these things favor Penn State as far as showing up to the stadium. Then you got to go and do it against one, one of the best defenses maybe of all time. And one of the best coaches in big games yep. maybe ever. And I'm not sure, but I think old Pete Carroll, he might have lost one. And that was the Vince Young's greatest performance I've ever seen in the Rose Bowl game for the championship. So Pete Carroll, you give him, and Lou was talking about Joe Paterno getting his team ready. I'm telling you, Coach, this Pete Carroll can get his team ready, and that Southern California's got some athletes. Well, there's no doubt, but I, I'm not convinced that Southern Cal has a great offense. I'm not convinced they have the game breaker. Yeah, they have all these fancy people, et cetera, but just physical toughness at the running back position, speed of wide receiver. And I'll tell you, Penn State is a heck of a fine football team. I coached against Joe Paterno 13 times. Never have I seen anybody do a better job on the other side of the field than Joe Paterno. They play sound defense. They're fundamentally sound. They don't beat themselves. They don't make mistakes. They don't turn the ball over. Good team game, and they always get good official calls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know I, I think that, that Daryl Clark will be the key in this game yes. for Penn State to stay close. If he has a good football game, he doesn't make any poor decisions, doesn't turn, the, turn it over, which is very tough to do against USC, Penn State stays in it because Lou's right. Penn State's defense undervalued. They'll keep him in the game. It comes down to Clark's ability. But let's pay homage here to Pete Carroll. Seven straight years. I remember when Florida State went 14 straight years of finishing up in the top four in the country. I never thought anybody in modern era right now with the way scholarships have been reduced, I never thought we'd see no. anything remotely close to this. They're just not no. going to let up. That's he, right. 14, he's halfway there. They went to Pac-10 every year. And yeah. one, one good thing about this, and Mark made a point on this, is very important. Uh, I used to go to the Rose Bowl game all the time at Indiana because they'd send us, and my ne team never went. But let me tell you something. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a point there. I saw Woody go in there. I saw Bo go in there. I see these guys go in there, and that Pac-10 has got a psychological advantage in that Rose Bowl game. Mark, you're absolutely right. You know where USC practices for the Rose Bowl? Heritage Hall. Yeah, but, I mean, imagine. Uh, I mean, they're at their own facility. Uh, yeah, but I, 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 I went home, game. Game. home I, game. I went to the Rose Bowl with Woody Hayes, and I'll tell you, you won. 
He's doggone right we won because we had a better football team. They worked him. They had him prepared. We went out on the 18th. You know where we spent New Year's Eve? I spent it with some padre up in a monastery, drank a wine to bring it in. He came up there. He wanted to talk about Ohio State football. But Woody Hayes just got him ready. And Joe Paterno will get him ready. Coach, that was a different millennium. Okay? <laughs> Not a different year well, or a different decade your elders. or century. Come on. <laughs> it's a different game now. Pete hey, Carroll owns the state of California. He owns the Pac-10. It's USC and the Pac-9. That's bottom line. Right. And anybody that comes into that stadium, you better bring your A game and another A game if you want to compete with USC. Hey, hey, 